Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Gris. My name is Michael, I am the founder of Triple Gris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is, the most dangerous enemy is the one you cannot see. Brothers and sisters, we can fight our enemies that we can see, because we know they are coming against us. They are not in hiding somewhere. But Satan's strategy is to be behind your mind, to have mind control, to be hidden somewhere, to tempt you. This, he is an enemy that you cannot see and he is much more dangerous than all the enemies who are coming against you, calling you false prophet, calling you names, saying that you are on the wrong path, whatever they will do, you see them and you can act against them, you can protect yourself against them. But what about Satan? What about the one who is the principality of the air? What about the ones who is the prince of this world? What about the one who is so powerful that he can sit in the temple, that he wants to come into our bodies, what are now the temples of the Lord, and to have mind control? And he's using all the strategies in this world, all the rulers, all the nations, all the governments to bring in toxins that will later explode and then bring mind control forth so that he can establish a new Egypt. What do you do against him? He is a most dangerous enemy because you cannot see nor hear him in the open. He is whispering in your ears, he is trying to tempt you, he is trying to seduce you, he is coming with delusion and lies, and he is sending you against brothers and against sisters, so that you become his puppet. All the people who are coming against Triple Grace with their religious spirits are all the puppet of Satan. They are all the puppets who have no understanding, who never went to the heavens who have be, been taught by wicked church rulers, who are also puppets of Satan. The trolls of Christianity, I call them. The ones who swing them up and say, we are here to judge others. No, you are not, and you will be judged at the end for that, for your arrogant statement. All these are puppets of Satan, and they have fallen to that invisible enemy that is in their, in their hearts, because a heart can easily be deceived, in their hearts and their minds, and they have nothing in their soul. They have given their soul over already to the enemy. So what can protect you against such strong enemy? The hedge of protection the shield of faith, the full armor of God. When you have the shield of faith, the fiery darts cannot enter you. When you have a hedge of protection, there will be no way for an invisible enemy to come in. Not from behind, not through the feet, not through the brain, nowhere. And this hedge of protection you get when you are standing with the kingdom and with the kingdom alone, when you have come out of the world, Babylon and the churches, when you have separated yourself for the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, when you keep your crown, then the Father sent an angel to put a hedge of protection around you. Then the invisible enemy cannot come against you. Brothers and sisters, you need to decide where you are standing. Everyone who comes and mocks and comes against other people is standing in the world in self-righteousness. Full stop. The ones who are seeking the kingdom are humble. The ones who are seeking the kingdom, yes, they are spiritual and powerful warriors, we know that, but they are still humble. In the same way, as you see in the scripture, for example, Jude 9, the Archangel Michael. Is he not the most powerful warrior, the leader of the heavenly armies? And what did he do to, to, to Satan? He said, the Lord will rebuke you. That is to be humble. Not to raise yourself up and I judge you. No, the Lord will rebuke you. 
because it's the Lord is Lord's time of vengeance, Lord's time of judgment, not yours. So stay away from such people, stay away from such churches, stay away from such domination that claim that they are better than the other. Stay away from the, such channels and from such foolish people who who are saying that they know it better. No, they don't know anything. And the Lord has never revealed anything to them. They are the blind that are leading the blind into the ditch. Oh, I hear the mockers and scoffers. Oh, you are this, you are that. I hear all of them everywhere on the channels. They are fighting over Bible verses that they don't even understand. The Lord has blinded their eyes for a purpose. So that they fall in the ditch. And through that experience falling in the ditch, they will then be rescued. Then they will have a chance to see what they have done wrong. And then they have a chance to repent and a chance to return into the open arm of the Lord, to return to the kingdom of God and to come out of the world Babylon and the churches. Humanity has learned nothing over 2000 years. I am sorry, but they have learned nothing. Therefore, we will have another war coming, another world war coming, because humanity has learned nothing. And Satan is still the hidden enemy that is so strong that he can use many of them as puppets, especially rulers. Why? Because they have that ego, they have the power lust, they have all this what is signifying bad behavior in the world. And therefore, they have a lot of openings where Satan can come in. And in the worst case scenario, it will lead to dictatorship and to genocide, as we have seen in many, many cases throughout the centuries. Is that a coincidence that most of these dictators are paranoid, that they are uh, deluded, that they think that enemies are everywhere and so they start to kill all of their opposition? That is infiltration of the enemy in one of the highest forms. Paranoia, delusion. He takes over and he controls them as a puppet. He is a most dangerous enemy because you cannot see him. Hitler was one of them who were paranoid. How many people has he killed even in his own ranks and, and stuff in his own surroundings? Because he thought they would come to kill him. And he, he killed through his war so many people. He was infiltrated. Not only that, he had a full Antichrist spirit in him, with everything, persecution of the Jews, genocide, everything was inside there. So let it not come to this point, brothers and sisters. Step out of the world, join the kingdom of heaven and be, have a hedge, hedge of protection so that and a shield of faith so that the fiery darts and the enemy cannot infiltrate you in any way. You think you just get the head of protection by saying that you believe in Jesus? No, you have to do something. Volunteer. Volunteer to serve the kingdom as never before. Stay strong with the Father. Seek him daily. Say, I'm ready to serve you, Lord. Even if you want to take me right away today, I would stay to serve you. Because I am your bond servant. I'm not running away, I'm staying to serve. A great harvest is ahead of us and we need workers that go into the fields. But we do not want workers in the field that are infiltrated by the enemy. The Lord will make sure that such people will never enter New Zion and will never be part of the remnant army of New Zion. Never ever. They must remain in Egypt where they will torture and, and bond and, and enslave the whole world under 
the leadership of the new pharaoh, Mr. O. We will go back to a second term. In a loop, 2015 will be repeated again. The new world order will then be established. And the book of Revelation will be fulfilled. Protect yourself, brothers and sisters, against the most dangerous enemy, the one that you cannot see. By seeking the Lord, by crying before Him, by repentance, by volunteering to be a harvest worker for such a time as this, by saying, Lord, make me a true son and daughter, son and daughter as the, your only begotten son Jesus was, our Lord and Savior and our bridegroom. Allow us to walk in his image, to set the captives free. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.